Virgo Earth sign. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Tony. We are gathered here today at Emperor's Light to reveal your love messages. <laughs> I've had my hot chocolate. How's your morning going? Is it like chocolate fire off those love sensors in your brain? <laughs> Ooh, the Empress, Three of Gems. So, uh, coming to the video, liking the video, subscribing to the channel so that we continue to grow and expand the soul tribe, right? Attract your soulmate twin flame or your person to the reading or to the channel. Let's get into your messages. We're going to see what spirit wants to reveal or relay through the cardomancy in regards to your current love energies and what's coming towards you in regards to romance. Love and romance. So we did have the Hermit Virgo Major Arcana show up in Gemini's reading today. So if you have Gemini somewhere in your birth chart, go ahead and watch that reading. Watch the other Earth sign readings to get clarification on more clarification on your love messages as well. All right, this is a love channel. Most of these readings are in regards to love. So the Empress showing up in the pre-shuffle with the Three of Gems. And Virgo is Gem Energy. So again, you could be hard at work or something, or this person is going to come towards you, uh, maybe wanting to seek out some sort of a help in regards to, what is this, um, creating something here. This empress would be the creator, and the emperor would be the builder. Okay, interesting channel message. What's the message here for, so yeah, you could be dealing with an empress, which would be an earth sign, an earth sign, Taurus, or a Libra. Yeah, but this person's coming towards you to have strong energy here. What's the love message for um, Virgo today, Spirit? What's the romance coming towards them? What does their person want them to know? All right, so your grounded message here today, Virgo, is Eight of Gems. Yeah, Virgo energy. Hard work, being consistent, being thorough, being very detail-oriented, right? Hammering away at something could be a lot of work so your person could possibly want to let you know that they're hard at work at this time mm. I'm almost getting a, a continuation they're hard at work um, in regards to finance or they're hard at work at what's important to them six of gems yeah they're bringing in the finances they're gonna receive some sort of a return on their investment right the universe balances itself out the law of attraction is what I'm getting right Libra your person could be a Libra or it's um, Taking on a lot of Libra qualities, the full card, interesting enough, mm -hmm. opposite of Libra, the North Node. So your person could be trying something new, maybe. The Fool is Aries. Three of Storms. Yeah, they're trying something new outside of the ordinary, something that they're not used to. This person could also be feeling like they're not getting enough attention, maybe enough sales. Maybe they're not getting enough attention, or this could actually be them uh, journeying outside or away from a third party situation, cheating, a, a breakup, lying and um, lying and that sort of thing. Justice, yeah, relationship. So wow, we have the opposites. So your person may actually be the opposite of you. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a good compliment, right? Like they say, opposites attract. Or you bring what you're good at and I bring what I'm good at. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, two major arcanas and then the three of storms. I'm gonna stop the wind from blowing or wait for the wind to stop blowing. I may just say effort, yeah. Um to a bubble six of embers. Yeah, so double sixes, six of embers and six of wands. So yeah there. They're being very creative. They're trying to think outside of the box. They're following their dreams or goals and their passion, possibly trying to turn their passion into something that they can make money from. And then we have um, the two of bubbles and the six of wands. So yeah, they wanted to give you a standing ovation. Or they may be seeking that, oh say, so attention. You know, and your person's not an attention seeker. They're just seeking your attention. <laughs> yeah, I recently saw a video on, um, online right it was this dude literally laying in the bed taking a nap right with a um with a tank top on a wife beater or whatever you want to call it i don't know why they call those things wife beaters right laying in the bed dead sleep and his girl 
and she's damn near twice his size, right? We know that black guys like bigger women, right? Or that's just part of the culture. I don't know if it's because of the meal or and to really to clarify in ancient terms, we were travelers and adventurers, right? So our bodies hold on to fat more in order to help us survive longer. <laughs> But that's neither here nor there. But yeah, this dude was laying in the bed and this his female came in the bed and literally got under his shirt, right? <laughs> As if it was two people wearing a shirt. Put the blanket over him, put her arm over, over her. Like, yeah, <laughs> we're napping together now. <laughs> so yeah, your person's seeking out your attention. They wanted to share their, bring their cup to your cup, a toast, all that good stuff, standing ovation, 15 minutes of fame. So yeah, your break time may be dedicated to your person as well. Your person may be wanting to contact you while you're at work on your break time. So that could resonate with someone as well. All right, so let's try this again. Ace of gems, a new commitment your person wants to come towards you as. Ooh, I'm getting your person has, ooh, I don't know if I should reveal this. I'm not sure if they're trying to keep it a secret. But they're either about to get a new type of job or they already have some sort of a big gigantic wealth here. Yeah, they're coming towards you with this new uh, financial opportunity here. This could be a new, this could even be a gift that they're giving you, or something that they're bringing you into, bringing you into their world. You're gonna see more luxurious things. Or well, this person could be bringing you some sort of a gift, like a car or a house or something like that. Maybe jewelry, ten of bubbles, community, legacy, a big family wish fulfillment and sharing it with someone so yeah sharing the wealth here the emperor we saw the empress show up so yeah this is your twin flame or someone that you feel a very strong connection to here with yeah so twin flame soulmate energy legacy and lineage the emperor is a master ruler right um exhibits a lot of control a lot of power a lot of know-how a lot of wisdom that's the builder here in this situation yeah so I, I guess however it resonates it maybe this is a woman entrepreneur or a masculine entrepreneur making a name for themselves or they're building something for themselves here six of embers here it goes again yeah they're going to be very um i'm not sure if they're going to be famous per se but they're going to be very known by a lot of people right and they are redirecting that energy toward you Okay, so side message, the more they love themselves, the more they're going to love you. Right? And if you know anything about relationships, how relationships turn sideways when people don't love each other or, or, yeah, when people don't love each other or when they don't love themselves or when they think you're supposed to bring all their happiness. Like, you, you're supposed to make, you are supposed to make them happy is what people are, are going to say, right? Yeah, justice. Ooh, yeah, this is your person, empress and emperor. And then we see justice. Fireworks and yeah, confirmation. Because it's like damn near a week, two weeks after the 4th of July. <laughs> and they literally just popped this big ass firework behind me. So yeah, we got cards flying. Um, But yeah, justice, the relationship card of the zodiac or the relationship sign of the zodiac, should I say. The tower card, the, it just went off behind me, this damn um, firework. Was there another? There's one more. Let's see what this one is. The three of gems. Yeah, they're either a co-worker or they work in the same industry as you. Or they see themselves as a prodigy. Or people may view this person as a, as a, as a, as a prodigy. Okay, what's going on with my speech? The tower moment, obviously. <laughs> but your person is very attracted to you, very sexually attracted to you. Mm-hmm. Your person wants to give you the space to be the best you that you can be. But I think they want to provide that space for you. This is like, um, and I kind of give off this uh, example all the time by I'd rather just make it rain in my own room instead of go to a strip club. This would be like a guy, um, yeah, basically doing that. Like, don't worry, you don't have to go out and shake your ass and do all this. I'm going to provide everything, all that stuff for you. And this could be a be a feminine as well right she's doing the same thing like she wants to create a safe space or something like that okay i uploaded some uh uh a, a motivational motivational speech about safe spaces not too long ago but like who the hell it's like not even one o'clock who's 
lighting fireworks that you can't see. <laughs> the tower here, Scorpio. So this could be a secret relationship or it may start off as that. Or this person, yeah, ooh, so this, the love, so the person, the love that this person has for you never dies. I'm getting that song. Is that a Michael Jackson song? You give me butterflies. I'm getting something like that. Okay. What are the rest of the messages for Virgo? <laughs> Three of bubbles. <laughs> yeah, so your person wants to let you know that they're all they're constantly thinking about you and they're constantly wanting to be around you. Ooh, they say that you're their medicine. Mmm. On top of the emperor. Yeah. They say you can fix you can fix all their problems. <laughs> so this could be literally a married couple justice here, a handyman, like a wife. Yeah, like why do I need to go to a strip club and make it rain? Like, and she's thinking the same thing. Like, why the f do I need to call a freaking plumber when I have a dude here, <laughs> my own dude, <laughs> that could probably wash my like? Why do I need to go to a car wash when I have a dude to wash my own car? Like, this is literally what I'm getting here. We got the wind blowing again. What's at the top of the deck? The lovers. Oh, snap. I really wanted to use the other S word. <laughs> What's at the bottom of the deck? Death. Yeah, there's a strong uh, level of attraction. Mm, maybe you're going to... I'm not sure what death is, why death is here, but it's Scorpio Major Arcana. It could be the slow death, like some sort of a disease or a sickness, but it could also be a revelation, like a rebirth, a transformational state. And we have both the tower and the death. So that's double scorpionic energy. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. The other thing is, of course, there's a lot of sexual attraction. But there's something else I wanted to say as well. This person could be very clairvoyant as well. Like, yeah, the butterflies. Do you give me butterflies? They follow the intuitive hits. These are the neighbors. Let me see what he's doing. Okay. So, yeah. And they're coming in with gifts here. You know what this person probably does here? <sighs> this person, because the last reading was um, Gemini. And like um, the person, they were, there was like, it was like a lot of vetting going on in that situation. So there wasn't like a whole lot of like starting a relationship off. Like, say for instance, if you, if you take a woman on a five-star trip on the first date, you're going to have to keep that shit up for the rest of the relationship, right? <laughs> so how much time do you have? How much money can you keep investing? Even if you had infinite resources, what's the better situation? Like, what do you, what's the next best romantic thing to literally take her to the moon with freaking all the roses of the rainbow? Like, you'll always have to do something better. So they were questioning each other uh, towards the end of the reading. It was like really trying to find out, like really asking real questions. Not not the questions that uh, teenagers uh, would ask each other when they're getting to know each other or getting in a relationship. No, questions that people in their 30s and 40s would literally ask someone when they were looking for their life partner or the person that they're marrying here. So this here, and I forgot my train of thought because it takes so long to relay. But yeah, this one here is kind of... Um, it, it's kind of like continuing from that energy like I kind of get the same vibes, but there's more like acceptance So I'm not sure if you're already in a relationship with this person and this is how your person wants to communicate with you Oh, so this is where I was getting back to it. So yeah, so this is what I'm getting So you see how so this is how I was saying in the last relationship the person's like no I'm not gonna do all this on the first date now that you're in communication with this person and this is what um, Virgo's reading it may be like something like this like and every anniversary uh, your person upgrades your marriage ring or something like that or every new year your person buys you a new car or every new year your person buys you a house like I don't know who has abundance like that but that's amazing yeah so it's like an upgrade uh, it's off well love languages right um, is basically what I'm getting someone has a love language of gifting or giving or something like that or receiving but yeah very positive energy so far We're gonna see what else we get in here. What's what additional messages do we have for Virgo here today, Spirit, in regards to love and romance? What are that person wanting to say to them at this time? And you guys got double confirmation, two loud ass fireworks going off behind me in broad daylight, like it's not even lunchtime. <laughs> 
dragonflies. All right, messages for a Virgo collective. What did a person currently want to say to them in regards to love and romance? All right, grounding your message. The two of storms. Blocked communication or missed communication. Indecision here. Flight layover. So this is something going over someone's head or not being able to make the link or connection here. Yeah, so your person's possibly wanting to let you know that um, they're wanting a, a closer connection with you or they want to communicate more with you. Maybe you guys should talk more or maybe you guys should write more. I would say this, and I know it sounds silly, but, um, you know, have to give solutions, have to give advice. Um, even if the relationship is at a good place, just try doing nice things for each other. Like something simple as, like, you never know who's in your girl's DM, like, text messaging her or DMing her at 12 midnight talking about good night or in the morning. Like, there's literally lame-ass dudes out there that will literally text a girl that's in a relationship or DM her even if she's married <laughs> and will literally send her a message every morning good morning beautiful so i would suggest that you know masculine and feminine however resonates women if you really like your dude or men if you feel this way about your chick like do the same thing like um leave little sticky notes around like make it a game and just uh leave little love messages around for your person to find right don't let it just be on Valentine's Day. You buy Valentine's Day cards. No, do stuff like that uh, sporadically, right? It doesn't have to be an everyday thing like that lame in her inbox. But yeah, um, try doing the same thing. Maybe a person wants to get matching tattoos with you. And the reason it's coming off as two of swords is because <laughs> most people perceive tattoos or most spiritual or religious people see tattoos as a no-no. So yeah, maybe a person wants to get a tattoo about you. I mean, they may have some sort of a thing about it. Like me, I would never get like my baby mama's name tattooed on me or like any person's tattooed on me. Like, mm, not even Jesus. Like I wouldn't get any religious figure tattooed on me. So this could possibly be something that you or your person's, your person's thinking about that they probably want to let you know. Maybe you guys should get matching tattoos or something like that. I don't care, you know, it's your life. <laughs> I think it's cool, but it is but the thing is that when you do things like that, people tend to regret it later. I guess getting ma matching tattoos um, wouldn't be as bad as getting a child and breaking up. We got butter um, bumblebees. We got my neighbor, oh my gosh. I walked past this lady's uh, door one night and she was butt ass naked. I don't know if it was a drunk night and she just broke up with her boyfriend. I was just like, you lucky I'm the nicest dude around here because I know all these dudes probably probably do something crazy. Close your door and, and lock it for you. Anyways. Let's see. The devil and a magician. Yeah, strong attraction. This could be sex magic. This could be a, a ritual. Temptation and obsession. But someone could just be very talented, right? An earthbound celebrity and a magician is a master manifester. They can do anything when they put their mind to it or put their intention to it. Alright. Alright, so break deck message. You're getting the ace of storms in the fourth bubbles. Yeah, you're bringing your person out of a state of boredom. So the person that's coming towards you, they may come towards you with fresh ideas or wanting to express their emotions in a new way. This is probably trying something with you that they never tried with anyone else. A lot of communication, and communication is key as well. Mm -hmm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy with the truth showing up in the Ace of Storms. This could be a valid idea. This could even be some sort of a spiritual or mental download. Again, the gifts, leaving notes. Like I said, try that as well. Mm. Yeah. Don't don't bring social media into your relationship is what I'm getting here. What else do we have for our Earth sign Virgo here for the current love energies and romantic energies? What does your person want to say to you? 
sun coming out. All right, for Virgo, eight of storms and queen of gems, the echo chamber or mental prison. This could be a concern about uh, wealth of finances. This is a wife, right? A matriarch could be a female business owner, entrepreneur, real estate, uh, maybe some sort of financial, um, like a banker or something like that, interior decorator, could even be a gardener. I'm gonna pull, oh yeah, I'm gonna pull one more um, break deck message for you guys. So yeah, this person is coming in with a strong foundation, right? Again, their love language may be gift giving, right? Um, and they don't, I don't, the thing about getting free things, right? <laughs> People are always making an excuse. Um, you don't want to turn down someone, uh, it, it's like someone, they don't necessarily have to go out of their way to do it, but it's like when you turn down someone's gift, you, you're, you're turning away that person's opportunity to do something nice for the day, right? Something like that, right? Like they will say that some wise men say, like, you, you know, if you're getting, why turn down a free gift or something like that? All right, your last break deck message before we end the reading, the world card and the queen of storms. Yeah, so queen of storms, more air sign energy, Libra, and then the wheel of uh, the world card showing up, Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with a fire sign as well. Mm, this is probably a traveler or this person does like a lot of online or social media activity. Yeah, don't bring social media into your relationship. It could definitely be some sort of an editor, an author, mm, illustrator possibly even. Yeah, they communicate with a lot of people. I'm getting like Wendy Williams type vibes. So I don't know if this is like a news anchor, a relationship counselor, or just a very popular socialite. Okay. You don't necessarily have to be a world famous celebrity. They're a socialite here. Yeah. Maybe you're like this person's grounded energy. Like you help this person ground themselves in a world full of opinions or something like that. Yeah, like why wouldn't you bring gifts uh, to someone that helps ground you or helps keep your head on your shoulders? Or that keeps you, you, that keeps you grounded, that doesn't, you know, not to say that they hold you back, but they keep you from getting the big head, right? So that's what I have for you guys here today, Virgo, Earth Signs. Hopefully you enjoyed the reading. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel.